Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to make a necklace using products from the Bargain Bead Box. So, like I said in my video uh, before making the other necklace, if you guys have been watching that one, um, a few people had requested that I show what I do with the contents of the Bargain Bead Box as I'm doing it, like uh, the creative process. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I have an idea in my head. I have not made this before, haven't flushed it out, so uh, if that bugs you, don't watch this video. Um, <laughs> but I do have an idea in my head, and that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna work from. So here's what we made yesterday. Um, that's this necklace right here. It's a little twisted up. I had it laying over there. So we made this triple strand. A necklace yesterday and I think it turned out really pretty with these products from the bargain bead box so today we're going to use this shell pendant piece and these beads all from the bargain bead box okay so I'm going to be adding in a few beads possibly I'm not sure it just kind of depends on how this goes and like I said we're we're just designing this today okay it's not i've not made it before it's an idea in my head i'm working with my bargain bead box products and you know so if you don't like that don't watch the video <laughs> um, i've got some fire polish beads that um, i'm going to mix in with some of these possibly and then i've got these like cuboid kind of beads and i thought they matched really well with that so i may mix them in as well to give them to give it some sparkle um, and this pendant from the bargain bead box. Okay, let me set these aside for a minute. We're going to be using some faux uh, leather, or and this is suede actually. I don't know if it's faux suede or real suede. It does not tell me. It's just a roll. There's literally nothing on it. So, um, but we're going to be using some of this suede, um, some cord ends to uh, finish the ends of that. And then these are some little um, rondelle beads that I may use. I'm not sure. But in here as well, I have a bunch of little chatons. We're going to bling this dude out. And I've got very tiny ones. I believe these are like PP15s maybe. They're very tiny. Um, and then I have a medium like maybe this. I think this is a PP24. And then I've got uh, PP32s. Okay. So we're going to bling him out a little bit. You're going to need some E6000. You're going to need some jump rings, some head pins. Um, this is some chain that I'm going to use to hang him from. And we're going to put a bunch of beads on here, dangles on here. And your lobster claw clasp for the end. And all your tools. And I believe that's everything. So... Yeah, if you want to make this necklace with me, grab up your stuff, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is bling out our little um, little guy here. And I'm just going to get everything out of here except for... Actually, I'm going to dump my crystals right here. It's easier that way. And get these rondelles out. I don't know why I mixed those in. I was just trying to keep everything together <laughs> last night. Okay. So like I said, we've got the teeny weenies, we've got the middle, and we've got the bigger ones. I just thought this would be so pretty to, to put some shine in a um, in a circular pattern. And I figure like the mainstream thing to do is going to be patina it. And so I didn't want to patina it. I want to do something a little bit different. So hopefully this will turn out good. We'll see. And I'm trying to talk louder. I know a bunch of people have complained that they can't um, hear me in my videos. And I don't know why. Because when I play it back and listen to it, it sounds fine to me. But, <laughs> okay. So, E6000. Let's talk about it. It is um, the glue that Swarovski recommends that you use with their crystals. Um, I've never had any trouble with crystals popping off of things. We use it at work. And it's all we use. Um, the best way to apply it is to get two toothpicks. One you're going to just use to put your glue on. The second you're going to use to pick up your crystals. Okay, This is beeswax on the end of this toothpick. You can buy it at Hobby Lobby in a big orange or yellow block. This is only a piece. I mean the block's like this long. It's at work. So this is just a piece I brought home. Um, 
but this you just roll up a ball of it and this is the best thing to pick up your crystals i mean it's just awesome it picks them right up and you can set them right in the glue and it works the best of anything i've used <laughs> okay so we're going to start blinging this guy out so we're just going to get a little glue on our toothpick and put a little dot in the middle pick up a tiny tiny chaton and stick it right in there then you can use the other end of the toothpick to move things around or make them sit straight you want these to sit straight you don't want them to be like um, leaning so just make sure he's sitting straight in there and you can bling it out as little or as much as you want. I mean, you could just leave it like that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do a spiral pattern. So I'm just going to put some more glue in here. And continuing on with these tiny ones, I'm going to set them in. These are um, golden shadow is the color of these. And I just thought it would look really pretty with this. Okay. Got a little bit of dry glue off there. It's best if your glue is really wet. It tends to dry as it comes out the end of the tube. So if your glue um, gets kind of gummy, just get it off of there and get some wet glue. You don't want it to be dry or it's not going to lay in here very well. Okay, and just keep on going. So we're going to keep going around. And I want to make sure they're laying flat. Okay. And keep going right like this. And if I don't like the way this looks, I'm kind of really not liking the way that this is too busy. I'm going to take these two out, set them aside, make sure these guys are Actually, I'm going to take this one out, too. And you can do that before your glue gets dry. And then I'm going to put a little glue in the middle again. I think I don't want it to look that busy. It just was too much. And we're going to just put there. That's going to be much better. Yep, that's going to look a lot better. <laughs> it is trial and error sometimes, especially with these little crystals. You just have to see what looks good. And my glue's drying, so let me get the dried up part off. It dries really fast, and I have the ceiling fan on in here too, which makes it even worse because it's hot. Okay, so I'm just going to lay the glue in there. I think this would be really pretty patinaed. I just felt like that's probably what... The go-to thing is going to be to do, and I just kind of wanted to do something a little different than that. But I think it would be beautiful to do that to it. Okay, and you just keep going down through and setting them on just like this. Make sure they're flat. And they're, you know, evenly spaced. Just like that. I'm going to turn it. We'll continue on with these small ones for a second. And then we'll get branch into the little bit bigger ones as we get on around this curve. Sure, they're sitting flat. A little bit more glue. You don't want to use a ton of glue. I know that's the um, that's like the natural thing to want to do is put a lot of glue in here. When I first started working with these crystals at my job. <laughs> I used a ton of glue and they kept telling me you don't need that much glue to hold these in and really it's true and it just gets all over your crystals and then you have to try to clean it off later which is really hard so it doesn't take much at all they're teeny tiny 
and just a small dab of glue is going to hold them in there, okay? So just keep that in mind because you don't want to get glue all over the top of them. It just, it clouds them up and then you have to clean them and it's a pain. Okay. So now I don't have a whole bunch of the big, bigger ones. So let's do a couple more smalls in here. I may have to pull out some more of the bigger ones. I have some more. I just didn't grab that many out. But okay. Okay, I'm just making sure they're sitting flat and they're not crowded onto each other. Okay. Looking cute. Alrighty. Okay, do I want to go bigger now? I probably should. Go a little bit bigger. Let's step, I'm going to step up to these um, 24s. Let's see, I've got, I've got several of them. I'm going to step up to those now, I think. And see how that looks. These aren't all Swarovski either. Uh, no, not quite ready for it yet. We're going to stay small for just a few more. I'm just going to use up, I think I just have two more small ones anyway. I'm going to go ahead and use up these two. Oh wait, I have a few over here that I pulled off. I'm going to go ahead and use up the small ones and then go up to the big. It just didn't look right to do it right there. Okay. this last one in. This one's got a little glue on it where I pulled it off a minute ago. Let me, if you just take them and rub them between your fingers like this, if the glue is not totally dried on there, I mean it'll, and set, it should come right off just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and this last one in here, this last small one. Okay, hopefully now it'll look better to go up to the bigger. Okay, it is turning out pretty though. Well, maybe I don't even need to go up to the bigger, maybe I just need to stay small all the way. Hmm. I think I might need to do that. Let me pull out some more smalls. Okay, so I pulled out some more of the smaller um, golden shadow crystals, and I think I'm just going to stick with that. I was wanting to kind of, or thinking I would like to graduate it up, but I think it's going to look funny if I do that. So I'm just going to stick with the little ones. Making sure I'm on camera. Okay, just make sure when you set them in here that they're flat. So I'm trying to work kind of fast because this glue. It does dry fast where I've got my ceiling fan on. And I do have, I did notice, I didn't pull out just Golden Shadow. I have a couple of different, um, I don't know, I grabbed a few like Colorado Topaz. Not on purpose, it was kind of just accidental, but I think I'm liking the variation. Like it gives it a little bit of a gradient or a depth to it, having more than just one color. That last one's not going to stick, I'm going to have to put new glue in. these a little bit okay and one more little bit of glue if your toothpick gets glue on the end you can clean you know kind of dry it on the end you can clean it off just pull it off of there 
All right. And that should do it. Oh, it's very pretty. Look at that. I really like the way that turned out. Okay. And put these back. Now, I may glue one right here. In the end, just a little embellishment in there. <laughs> yeah, I think I will. That'd be kind of cool. I glue a couple things in there. That'd be kind of cool to glue. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Just put a little glue in here. We've got this end that's open, and I think it'd be kind of cool to put something in it. So, let's do a crystal right here. I'm going to kind of make it to where it... I didn't really want it to go in there that far. Now you can't see it, so let me get underneath it and pull it out a little. Okay. So we've got a crystal here. And do I want to do like a... No, I don't. I'm just going to do a couple crystals down in there. I don't want to make it too... So I can get him to lay in there like I'm wanting. There we go. <laughs> They're kind of up inside, so it's like a hidden little thing. You're not going to see them unless you really you look for them, but that's okay. There they are. Okay, so there we got a little treasure in there. You can't really see it unless you look for it, but it's kind of cool. Okay, let me get this out of the way. We're going to need the E6000 again at the end to glue the ends on, so we'll put that aside. So here is our bedazzled out conch shell, or whatever this spiral shell, whatever this thing is. We're going to set it right here, just kind of out of the way and let it dry. Now, we're going to work on this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this shell from the middle of this chain. And I want, let's see, probably about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten,
And I've got these guys that I kind of like. Sparkly. These little guys. And then just five left of these. Okay. So, let's get to work making dangles. So, we're going to, first of all, I'm just going to take, I'm not sure I'm going to use these bead caps. Let me look here and see what they look like on these beads. Sometimes I think they're too big. I actually like this. I think it's fine. Let me see what it looks like if I put the other one on. Ah, they're okay. They're not too big for these beads. I'm just going to use it on the bottom of this one, though. And then I think I'll do one of these spacers. And maybe a fire polish bead. Yeah. Okay, now, to make your bead dangles, you bend this at a 90 degree angle. I cut usually about this far. I don't know how far that is. I need to measure that because I always say that. And I do have glasses on. So let me look here and see how big is that little cut that I usually make. Um, it's about a quarter of an inch. Okay. So you got about a quarter of an inch little cut there. And then I roll it back like this. I just take it and I roll it straight back. Just like that. And this one needed to be adjusted a little bit. Okay, I know I'm talking quiet. I'm sorry. Alright, so there's one. One little dangle. We're going to need a bunch of these. Okay? And I may fast forward through this part of the video. I mean, I'm going to do it, but I may fast forward through so you don't have to watch me make them all, but... Here we go. I'm just going to make them all different. Um, I don't want them to all match. And now I've got glue on my hands. So excuse my messy hands. And fingers. I get the E6000 all over me. It gets all over me at work. I mean all over my hands. And that's why they're always so dry looking. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I put lotion on them. But the E6000 just dries them out. And where I work with it every single day. It's just, it's on me. I can't help it. Okay, so there we go. Mm, let's make a tiny one here. Let's just do one of these. Will this go on the head pin? Not that fat head pin. It won't. It'll have to be a thinner one. Okay, so let's. Oh, these may not fit on the head pin. They're very pretty though. I hope they. No, they're not going to. And I'm not going to, um, I could use the thinner, the ball head pins, but I don't really want to do that. I want to keep this pretty uniform. I don't want to have a bunch of different kinds of, um, head pins and wrapped loops and all that kind of stuff. So if they won't go on these thin head pins, I'm not going to use them. All right. Bye-bye. You missed your chance, your opportunity for fame right there. <laughs> okay. You could have gone on an earring and or on a necklace and been on YouTube and been famous, but you're not. So, all right, let's put these back away. I'm trying to keep my, my area a little bit cleaner because usually when I when I create and bead, it is a, a terrible, atrocious mess in here. But I don't really want to do that with you guys watching. <laughs> so, yeah, trying to keep it a little neater. All right, so let's do this fire polish guy here. Um, how about a one of these guys? Let's just leave it at that. I don't want to make them too too crazy. I'm going to put both bead caps on and do this fire polish bead on top that'll go on the head pin. Yep. So 
I found out something new about my husband last night. <laughs> um, we have these big bugs here. Now, back in West Virginia, there were roaches, okay? And it was like, if you got roaches in your house, it was like the worst thing ever because they breed like insanely fast and you it's hard to get rid of them. So I was always terrified of getting... I mean, like, if I would ever see a roach, I would be like, oh my gosh, you know, and we would kill it, and I mean, I just, I flipped out. I did not want them in my house. Well, here, <laughs> they have these big brown, it looks like a giant roach. Um, it is, I think they're called, like, palmetto roaches or palmetto bugs. I don't know, but anyway, they're big, um, and it looks like a gigantic version of what we did not want in our houses in West Virginia. So last night, I'm up here in the bead room, and I was doing that, the video of that last necklace there, the first one I did of the bargain bead box stuff, and I went in the bathroom for a minute, and there was this, one of those gigantic roach things crawling up the wall, and I'm like, oh my gosh, so I'm freaking out. Because, number one, it's huge. And, number two, it looks like a roach. I don't think they're the same kind of roaches that we have in West Virginia. Because, um, people don't seem to fear them here like we do there. I mean, um, so anyway, I holler for Chris. I'm like, hey, Chris, can you come up here and kill a bug? And he's like, what kind of bug? And I said, it's a, it's a big bug, and he said, do I need a broom? And I'm like, I don't know, so just, you know, just come, because it's crawling at this point, and I'm afraid it's going to get away, and if it gets away, I'm not going to be able to come back in here and do anything <laughs> constructive, because I'll be worried. And so he comes up here, and he's looking at it, and he said, I'm going to need a chair. Now, Chris is like 6'2", you guys. <laughs> he's tall. <laughs> I'm like, a chair? <laughs> and so I go in the bead room and get him a step stool. And come back in. Well, he's got a big wad of toilet paper at this point, And he's, like, getting ready. Well, he apparently is just as frightened of bugs as I am. Because you should have seen him trying to catch that bug. It was the funniest thing. He did get it. But um, he was, like, afraid of it. <laughs> he did not want it near him. <laughs> but he did get it. He was the hero. But, oh my goodness. I... Oh, those bugs. They are so, they're just so gross. I don't know what they are or why, but yeah. So we killed that one. Thankfully, I haven't seen, that's the first one I've seen in the house. I've seen some outside. Um, They come out at night, like in the garage, but they're usually not in the house ever. So thank God. I just think they're so gross. <laughs> But anyway, it was so funny. I was laughing at him. I said, you're as scared of bugs as I am. He is. Which I don't blame him. Not one bit. I don't mind ladybugs or, you know, bugs like that. But spiders and crawlies that have like, ugh, I don't know. I just don't like bugs. <laughs> My son did. He researched it. And he said that if you removed all the mosquitoes from the world today, like if they all just vanished... That it would not affect anything at all. Like, they provide absolutely nothing to our world um, profitable. Like, all, all of the creatures that eat mosquitoes eat so many other kinds of bugs that if all the mosquitoes vanished, it would not affect the food chain one single bit. <laughs> this is Landon Research. This. He's telling me about it the other day. <laughs> He said, so, you know, we just don't even need them. We just don't need them. <laughs> I'm thinking, I feel that way about most bugs. <laughs> but I know that most bugs, it you know, it would affect the food chain. But not mosquitoes, apparently. I don't think, I think we should just kill them all off. Like, fumigate every last one of them and be done with the things. <laughs> and before somebody tells me God created mosquitoes, I don't believe that. I think Satan made them. <laughs> I don't think God made mosquitoes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just don't believe that. Okay. So, anyway, there's a tangent for you, but I'm just trying to pass the time while I do this wonderful bunch of dangles. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
But yeah, I thought that was funny. Chris was like freaked out. I could tell. He was totally freaked out by the bug. The big, big bug. <laughs> it was big. Oh. Oops. So sorry. I keep hitting that camera. They do have really big bugs here. They have wolf spiders here. And my friend Beth and I were talking by email. And I'm like, yeah, you have no idea. I mean, they're huge. And um, oh, I just... Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. They're huge. Well, that guy's not going to go in there. Let's do this one. Okay. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. Oh, I just dropped my nose pliers in the floor. Let me get them because they're the only bear I have right here right now. So I've tried to make my Cricut work um, and I can't. It gets the faux leather, any leather, faux leather, thin, thick, it doesn't matter. It catches it and like tears it up. And so my friend Mandy is coming over, my coworker Mandy is coming over next Thursday to help me because she's like, I have a cricket and I don't have this problem. Something's wrong. You need to get it. We're going to figure it out. So she's going to come over and help me. So I've got to get this bead room cleaned up um, before then because I can't even have her seeing it looking like this. It's a disaster in here. But I've got so many trays of things sitting around like I have a bunch of trays of well not a bunch of trays I have a tray of um a bunch of gemstone beads and stuff that I've been saving up that I'm going to put with these new gemstone beads that I went in on the lot of that should be on their way soon hopefully yay um so I've got though trays sitting around with that in there I've got like seven trays left that have these bargain bead box beads in them separated out so I can use them. I've just got a ton of stuff everywhere in here. I really, really need to clean it up and get everything looking decent. Mandy will come over and be like, good lord, your house is, your room's a disaster. Okay. Well, let me do this one and then we'll look at them and see kind of what we've got going because I don't want to make too many because I may need these beads. I may need some of these beads and the other pieces that I'm going to do, so. Let me, okay. So here's what we've got. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way for a minute. Okay, lay this out. The pendant is going to go on this rung, and I'm going to hang it, I want it to hang lower a little bit than the dangles, so it's going to go down there. And then I'm just going to hang a bunch of dangles. I really want it to be kind of full, though. So in order for that to be kind of full, I'm probably going to need a lot more dangles than this. Because they're going to slide down on these. You know what? I maybe ought to use a smaller chain. And here's where the designing get, comes in that drives people crazy. But... Um, I love this chain, but these are going to slide all down to the bottom of each rung or each link, and it's going to take a ton of them to fill this up. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a few more. We'll see what they look like. We'll see what it, <laughs> it does. Again, this is just the... You, I, don't, I don't know how people that are complaining... I've had a couple people complain... And I don't know how they design. I mean, do you have everything, like, planned out perfectly before you sit down? And I have a general idea, but does everything work out for you? Like, you have it planned out in your head, and you sit down, and it all just works exactly like you <laughs> planned it to? I never have that happen, ever. I mean, it just does not happen for me. So, I don't know... You know, all those people or the ones that were like, well, you need to be more organized and you need to do this and you need to, I'm thinking, well, how do you do it? I mean, because I don't know. 
it's just, I can't even imagine sitting down and having an idea in my head and having it work out perfectly every time. <laughs> I just can't imagine that. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> but I think that's kind of funny. I'm like, yeah, that would be the perfect world. I would love that. But, no, it does not work that way. Not for me. Not for me. Let's do this little fire polish one. I may. I don't know. We'll hang them on here and see how they look. I kind of wanted it to be pretty full, but I don't want it to be... I want everything to slide down to the bottom of each rung in it, or each link on the chain and it look weird. So we'll have to look and see how it's going to do. Okay, so I've got all these little dangles here. I am going to move him. I'm going to hang him by um, a, an oval jump ring, which is right here. Probably two oval jump rings. So he hangs... A little bit lower because I don't want him to be I want him to hang below these dangles okay and then I have a bunch of jump rings here these are the ones that came in the bargain bead box and I may end up having to pull some out of my stash because I want to use the small ones if I can for this number one so they don't slide around too much um, and number two just so I like to use smaller jump rings because I don't feel like they're as obtrusive in your work if they're tiny. I don't like to use real big ones if I can help it. Not where a small one can be used, let's put it that way. I mean, I know there are times you have to use big jump rings, but <laughs> I wouldn't want to use a big one to attach all these little dangles is what I'm saying. What I'm trying very unsuccessfully to say. Okay. All right. Um, so let's just start attaching some of them. And I may actually not even attach them to those rungs. I may put the, fill these in down here because those rungs up there are going to be attached to the leather. So let's see how this looks. So I'm just going to hang some of these on here. Um, and we'll see. I mean, if I have to use smaller chain, I'll use smaller chain. Smaller length chain, I will. We'll just see how it, do, how it goes. This is designing, ladies and gentlemen, in my world. Maybe not in yours, but in mine, it is. Okay. I love these are on pliers. So everybody that recommended are on pliers, you guys had it right. They're awesome. Um, I love them. I really, really do. But the only complaint I have is all the handles are exactly the same color so it is very hard to tell see how these are going to slide down I know they are they're all going to slide to the bottom and be in a big clump on the bottom of each rung or each link of this chain so I'm going to have to get a different chain out so let me do that I love this chain though but yeah I'm going to have to because it's not going to work um but anyway I don't know what I was saying. I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> so, oh well, it must not have been too important. Let's see if I have any other. I mean, I've got that, but I don't really, I'm not going to use that. Let's see if I have something kind of prettier. I do have a pretty one here that's like a little bit brighter gold. That would be okay because it would kind of bring this out. And then I do have this antique gold with these links, which would work well. As, I like the brighter gold, I think. Now, will it work with the leather is the question, and I believe it will. Yeah, it'll work with the leather. This one would work with the leather, too. Would it work better with the leather? This one probably would work better with the leather. So maybe I should use it. <clears throat> probably should use it even though I like the other one better now here's a little lighter gold one that Ooh, I'm gonna use that one I like it it's the best of both worlds okay all right sorry guys but that's 
the way it it's the way it happens sometimes okay now I gotta find the middle because I have to be able to put him on the very middle link let's go ahead and do that so let me find the middle here uh, um I don't know what I was saying a minute ago I totally lost my train of thought that's okay so here's our middle link. Well, really, it's not. I really need to take one link off because there's two middle links, and I don't want that. So let's take one off. Leave it there. Okay. Now we have a definite middle link, see, right there? And that's what we're going to hook this to. There it is, I wanna make sure I get the right one. There it is, our middle link. Let's hook our, go ahead and just do this so we can tell where the middle is. And don't try not to touch your crystals. They're probably set pretty good right now, but I would give it a little bit longer before I'd touch them too much. Okay. And I like these opal jump rings because I feel like they're secure, a little bit more secure than a regular jump ring, just because of where the cut is in them. All right. Okay. So there's our pendant piece. Make sure we turn it around so that the front is... Okay. Alright, now we should have even lengths of chain on both sides to hang the dangles from. And I'm so sorry, big chain, I loved you, but you just didn't work out. Sorry. <laughs> just didn't work out like I wanted it to. So I'm going to remove these dangles from this big chain and put them on... I am going to leave the first link just for the leather. I'm not going to put any dangles on the first link. Okay. So is the way of a designer's <laughs> life. Sometimes you can't use the things that you want to use necessarily in that piece. Or not the way. You would have to change the way that you are going to use it if you did. Now, one thing that's important is I kind of want all these to hang the same on the link. Like, I don't want some to be on the front and some on the back. So, I want to make sure as I attach them that I have it kind of laying out like I want it to be. Like this. Okay? And I'm just going to attach um, back and forth kind of evenly. I'm not, I'm not really going to stress over that too much. But I kind of want to do it evenly. So I think I'll just do one per link right now. And then I'll go back and fill in some more. Except for I skipped that link, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> I am probably going to need to make some more dangles. Because I really want this to be full. I want it to be just real fluffy and full. So my son, guys, my younger son is leaving for college on August 10th. I can't even believe it. He's going to Moorhead State and studying the engineering program. I'm so proud of him. I'm proud of both of my boys. They're awesome. Both of them are. Um, but yeah, that's my baby headed off to college, which... <laughs> I mean, it kind of gives me chills just thinking about the fact that my baby is heading to college. I can't even believe it. Oh. He was just a newborn literally yesterday. I mean, what happened? Both of them. 
they both just grew up so fast and you know it's funny when you have small children you feel like every day is an eternity <laughs> at least I did I was like you just feel like if you can just make it through the day every day sometimes you're so tired and um I don't know it just every day seems like an eternity but I heard people say, you know, oh, appreciate every moment because they grow up fast. And when you're in the middle of it and you've got these little small children, you don't really, you can't really see that. You know, it, you can't really see that they grow up fast. It doesn't feel like that they do. But man, looking back now, I'm like, what in the world happened? I mean, literally, they were just like six and three yesterday. And now here they are. One is uh, 22 years old and he works in a French restaurant uh, in Huntington. And the other is 18 and headed off to college in just a few days. And oh my goodness, it just, whew, it's really amazing. <laughs> I don't know. Unbelievable when you think about it. And I look back on the days when they were little. And, um, I lived next door to my grandmother, which at times drove me insane because she was very, um, <laughs> how do you put it? Overbearing. She was a very overbearing person. Now, I loved her. She was loving. It's not like she, you know, but she was very much, you know, she had to know where I was at, what I was doing. Um, if I didn't answer the phone, she never could get the concept of voicemail. <laughs> like, she had an answering machine with a tape in it, and she never could get the concept of voicemail. Like, if I'm in the shower and she calls and my voicemail comes on, you know, this is Wendy, I leave a message, she would get so mad, and she'd be like, I know you can hear me, because in her mind, everybody had the old-style answering machine. <laughs> And I'd get out and I'd be like, Granny, I couldn't hear you. I'm in the shower. That was my voicemail. You know, she was just so funny. Um, but those days, I look back now and think of how wonderful those times were. Just the boys were little. We lived on this little street. Um, it was in this little small town next door to Granny. And, uh, you know, there was a girl that lived up the street from me that had... Um, a little boy about Logan's age, they were the same age, um, in the same grade, and so we would walk the boys to the bus every morning and put them on the bus, and then we would go sit and have coffee together, and oh, it was just a simple time. I mean, I think back then, I'm like, yeah, I didn't, you don't appreciate it when you're in the, you're in it, but you look back later and you're like, wow, you know, I miss those days sometimes, those simpler, simpler days. But I am proud of my boys. They are, they're great guys, both of them are, and you know, they're all grown up now, and kind of, it makes me kind of sad because they don't need mom like they used to, but, <laughs> but I am proud of them, very, very proud of them. And I just noticed that, I, oh, okay, no, this is good. We're good. My camera's probably going to stop here in a minute, and I'll have to restart this video. So it only films up to a certain time, and then it gets mad and quits on me. But I told the camera, you know, you can't rush the jewelry making process. You just can't. <laughs> I can't rush it. It's got to happen when it, how it happens, and sometimes it's slow. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. Actually, we're getting close to being done with this necklace. It's This is the tedious part. I get done with this part, it'll go pretty quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's put this one down here. I love these colors together. These aquas and the creams. And, oh, I think it's beautiful. Okay, so we got this guy up here that's kind of hanging out on the opposite side of the... There we go. I need something there. Running out of my tiny jump rings. Got 
one more dangle. I may end up having to make some more. Okay, how's it look? Let's look at it. It's pretty. I don't know if it's as fluffy as I want it to be. I think I need to add a couple dangles in over here. Let me make a couple more. I'm watching that camera if it quits recording. I'm trying to make sure that I catch it if it does. Sometimes it gives me a little um, noise and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so let's do a couple more dangles here. Okay, so it did quit. I had to restart it and it didn't even warn me. It just quit. But it's okay because I caught it. All right. Let's turn this back. This loop. Okay. Am I out of tiny jump rings? I have a couple left. So let's look here. Where does it look like we need to fill in? Right up here. This one needs one. Okay. Actually, that one may not have needed one, but I'm going to make one more and do the other side, just so it's even a little bit. I'm running out of beads. I set aside a bunch of beads um, for, like I said, I went through and looked at everything and just pulled things out that I thought I wanted to put together. So I do have more of these beads, but I don't want to, I don't want to use them in this project because I may need them in the other one. That's kind of the bad thing about pulling everything out ahead of time and trying to separate them. Um, I may, like if I need those beads now, but I don't really want to get them out and then maybe I don't use them all in the next project, then I'm just going to, I could have beads left over that I could have used. Which I could always go back and add more dangles to this if I wanted to. So, if I have beads left over at the end, I may do that. I may just come in and fluff this thing out a ton. But right now, I think this is pretty good. Okay, so here we have it. It looks fairly even think. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach the leather. To do that, you need to make sure your chain is laying like you want it. Those are just going to flop around right now. Okay, but the chain's flat. I'm going to cut a length of this um, faux leather, and I don't want this necklace to be super long, so I'm going to cut this let me tell you about how long this is. Let me measure it with my ruler. So this is about... It's about... Let's see. 16 inches, okay? And I'm doubling it over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it like this. Put these two ends through this link, pull it up, and bring it through just like this. Okay, and that creates that little connection right there, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, 16 inches of the leather.
and same thing just pulling it through oops come on give me my little link okay now one thing that I did not do on the other side that I do want to do on this side is make sure that when I pull it through, I kind of want this to go the other way. Do I? Yeah, I do. Um, and I'm not sure how to make that happen. I haven't haven't done this before like this but I want the loop part like this to be on top so this might why is this not working for me let me look at something I'll tell you what I may do here watch this <laughs> let me see if it yeah so see this part right here I kind of want this to be the part that shows because it looks better okay so it is okay it, it did turn out right <laughs> I just didn't think it did okay that's the part I want to show so then we're gonna take it all the way up here and you need to hold this up on yourself if it's for you and measure and see if it's hanging where you want it to hang. And this one is on me. Um, and you can always put an extender on it as well. Let me trim this leather so it's even. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have the front side on the front like this. Okay. Now, these little cord ends, I don't really like working with. <laughs> They're not my favorite. Um, I want this, this crease part to face the back, okay? The leather needs to come up, and then it's going to have to overlap. So I'm just going to neatly overlap it right here, like this. And then I'm going to put it right here in this cord end. And I hope that this cord end will hold both pieces. This is the biggest one that I have in the bright color. And I think that it is okay. I was going to put some glue in here, but I don't think it's going to need it. And I've got some wider pliers here. And I'm just going to take them and gently bend these in. I don't like working with these things because I feel like I never can get them just how they're supposed to go. But this one actually looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. And there's what you have. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I want to make sure that I put it on the same way as I did this one. So I went up with my leather up the sides. Then I crossed the outside piece over the inside piece, like this, at the top. I just want to make it the same so it doesn't, I mean, this is probably going to flip around a little anyway. It's not going to matter that much, but to me, I just I want to make sure that it's the same both on both sides. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold this again. Take my flat wide plier here and gently close it down make sure it's in there okay and do the other side Oops. okay those turned out surprisingly well i usually have a lot of trouble with these <laughs> um and then i'm going to trim this off a little bit it just needs to be trimmed a little. I don't want to trim it down all the way, but just enough to where it's, you can get to a hole there. Okay. There we go. So 
Same thing over here. Okay. Now, here's what we have. Oh, I think it's really cute. It really, really is. Look at it. It's really cute. Okay. And I may go in and add some more fluffy dangles, but for right now, we're just going to put on the lobster claw We've and the ends. I've got mail, Alexa says. Okay, so I'm going to take this bigger ring. This is the one that we'll hook the lobster to. Go ahead and open it up and stick it in here. And then I'll take a smaller one and put the lobster on. Just like that. And this makes a really, really cute, kind of beachy boho style. Yet, it's got a little sparkle and a little bling on it for your conch shell. Now, um, after your glue dries real good, I'm going to wait because I don't think, I mean, it's dry, but it's not like totally like set dry. Um, give it a, a couple of hours and then I'll go back with my jewelry cleaning cloth and go over these crystals and make sure there's no glue on top. So they're really sparkly. But yeah, this turned out really cute, I think. I like the way it looks. Um, I may add in a few more dangles if I have beads left over at the end. I can't decide. We'll see. But anyway... Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, have a great rest of the day and I'll be back with another one later with more Bargain Bead Box. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.